Good morning, it's Monday the 1st of August and this is your Daily Outlook. The US dollar strengthened as US policymakers reached a last-minute deal on the US debt ceiling. Concerns for the, a US default faded after US President Obama announced a deal to raise the debt ceiling before the August 2nd deadline. Investors are now expecting the Senate and the House to vote to approve the deal in Washington later today. Risk appetite rose, world, world shares turned positive and demand for precious metals was lower. Against the Japanese yen, the dollar recovered from a four-month low at 76.72 in a relief rally, rising to 78.03. Versus the Swiss franc, the dollar rebounded from a record low at 0.7851 to trade at 0.7952. On Friday, data revealed that the GDP for quarter two fell more than expected, showing a 1.3% gain, while 1.6% was expected. The euro shed 2% against the do dollar, dropping as low as 142.29 from 145.35. Eurozone debt contagion concerns continue to weigh on the single currency as Cyprus is feared to be the next country seeking bailout help. Credit rating HC Moody's cut Cyprus rating by two notches last week over concerns over the country's economy following the catastrophic blast near the main power station. Moody's expressed concerns over the large exposure to Greece banks as well as the lack of political unity in the country. Attention now shifts to the Eurozone PMI manufacturing data. The Australian dollar rose against the dollar ahead of the Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision. The market is pricing in a possible interest rate hike after data confirmed that inflation in the country is escalating. Concerns over China's growth eased after data showed higher than expected PMI figures. Against the greenback, the Aussie is trading towards a 28-year high, hitting 1.1059 from 1.0910. Looking at commodities, we have oil prices ticking higher to $97.27 a barrel from $94.94. Gold edged lower to $1,607.40 an ounce from a record high at $1,632.50. Silver also ticked lower to $39.26 an ounce from $41.43. Now let's have a look at the currencies to watch out for. The euro dollar pivot point is at 143.25 with a preference to enter into long positions at 143.35. The dollar yen pivot point is at 77.25, with a preference to enter into long positions at 77.30. The Aussie dollar pivot point is at 109.30, with a preference to enter into long positions at 109.30. The sterling dollar pivot point is at 163.75, with a preference to enter into long positions at 163.85. And the dollar CAD pivot point is at 095.50, with a preference to enter in short positions at 095.50. Now let's have a look at commodities. We have the oil pivot point at 96, with a preference to enter into long positions at 96. The gold pivot point is at 1620, with a preference to enter into short positions at 1620. And the silver pivot point is at 4045, with a preference to enter into short positions at 4045. And taking a look at today's calendar of market movers, we have the Europe Purchasing Manager Index Manufacturing in July, which is forecast to fall to 50.4. The UK Purchasing Manager Index Manufacturing in July, which is forecast to fall to 51. Europe Unemployment Rate in June is forecast to remain unchanged at 9.9%. And US ISM Manufacturing in July is forecast to rise to 54.9. Now on to equity markets. US equities were negative on Friday with the SP500 down 0.65% and the Dow was down 0.79%. European bursts were also negative with the FTSE down 0.99%, the DAX was down 0.44% and the CAC was down 1.11%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was up 1.34% and the Hang Seng was up 1.46%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I am Emma and Jerry from the Easy Forex Stealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.